myself because I'm not wearing a bra and to be frank I just don't feel comfortable exposing my necklace to you all. Maybe if I go like this then it's fine. My hair is a uh, literal gnat's rest. Gnat's rest. My hair is a literal rat's nest, as you can see. So what I'm going to do to start my day is to shower and wash it, and then we can proceed. Let's do a little before and after, why don't we? Because who doesn't love a good before and after? As you can see, this is the state of my hair at the moment. Quite naughty, quite wild. I'm gonna just snap my fingers and it's gonna be done and ready and beautiful. Okay, here's the deal. My hair is drying. I have Pilates in 45 minutes and I need to eat something before I go. Here's what I'm gonna eat. Let me turn around and show you. I have these oatmeal, banana, and chocolate chip bar things that I made two days ago. So I'm gonna have these. My counters are so dirty, I know, I'm sorry. I need to clean them later. Um, but no time for that now. So I'm gonna also have some blueberries. I only need one of these. I have my tea that's brewing. This is burdock root tea. So I'm gonna eat that, dry my hair, and then go. This is how it's looking right now. Here's the finished product, ta-da. And now I shall enjoy. I'm gonna probably have to go to Pilates with wet hair. And that's one, embarrassing, and, and two, so uncomfortable. I hate having wet hair. Like even now it's like making me uncomfortable, but if I keep it in the towel, towel, t-shirt, who am I kidding? Then it takes longer to dry. Taste test. Mm-hmm. It's essentially having dessert for breakfast, but I'm 30 years old. I can do what I want. So I just finished Pilates and it was fucking hot because I was right next to the radiator. But I'm feeling great and now I'm gonna go eat lunch at home. And I'll show you what I'm eating. We are gonna have some, and by we I mean me, some lentil soup leftover from last night that I made. It's like a lentil curry coconut soup. So I'm gonna go and reheat that up and then enjoy it. I'm gonna clean my kitchen afterwards and then, then I'm gonna do a little fridge tour, pantry tour, and kind of talk about how I'm able to maintain a plant-based diet. And when I say plant-based, by the way, it doesn't mean vegan, I eat eggs, but I don't eat any meat. My soup is done being reheated. Superb. Always so much better the next day. I mean, it was delicious yesterday. So you can imagine how good it is today. Please make this, please. It's so easy. Mm. Red lentils, onions, garlic, pepper. Oh, carrot, curry powder. I used a mix of regular curry powder and Thai curry powder, but like do what's best for you. Mmm, don't forget the fresh ginger. Vegetable broth. Did I say the red lentils? Like that's the main star of the show. Chili flakes are important for a little kick, a little punch. Spinach at the end for some greens. You could use bok choy, you could use broccoli, you could use kale. They all work. And coconut milk. Mmm. I'm gonna enjoy this now. We're gonna start with my refrigerator, which is right behind me. So let's open her up. It's not very organized. We're not gonna talk about that today. Our focus today is about the contents, not the organization, that's for another day. What I always have at the top of my refrigerator is some kind of herb. Today, I have cilantro. As you can see, it's looking very weak. I ate a lot of it already. I need to restock. It doesn't have to always be cilantro. It could be parsley. It's usually parsley or cilantro. Mustard. Mustard is key. I use this in so many sauces and dressings and other things. Some jam. Peanut butter. I always have nut butter. It doesn't have to be peanut butter. Sometimes I have almond butter, but most of the time it's peanut butter. 
I also have tahini, good for dressings and sauces. Then I have some berries. Here we have blueberries, but I also have strawberries, which are my favorite. It's really hard to find strawberries in Germany when it's not strawberry season, and I found them yesterday, and I was very excited. Some pickles, because why not? I have some quinoa that I had prepped two days ago or yesterday. I always have some kind of nut milk or plant milk. Usually it's organic soy milk because it's the highest in protein. Some leftover pasta that I had made. It's a chickpea pasta, which is high in protein, satiating, delicious, obviously not as tasty as regular pasta in my opinion, but still tasty, especially when you put a bunch of sauce on it. Always, always, always have tofu on hand. The bottom drawer is where I keep all my veggies. A pepper today, <laughs> spinach, romaine, an onion or half of an onion, and beef. I always have chocolate on hand. This one is 82%, but to be honest, I prefer 70%. Oh yeah. We always have maple syrup on hand, tomato paste, and the rest of the stuff is my husband's, so I won't go over that. Next, we have some fruits that are just lying on the counter. We have oranges, one nectarine, really random, I know, two lemons, and two bananas that are very spotty, as you can see, nice and sweet. Okay, let's move on to my pantry. Here I have all my dry goods. I have a bunch of different beans and canned tomatoes. I keep my seeds here as well. So I have brown flax seeds, chia seeds, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, sesame seeds, cashews, really important to make plant-based cheese, walnuts, I also have my plant-based protein powder. When you eat a plant-based diet, it's a little bit trickier getting in an adequate amount of protein into your diet every single day. And when you find a protein powder that has really good ingredients, like this one, it's from Form Nutrition, then I think it's okay to eat on a daily basis. This one is chocolate peanut flavor. Also have some oats, which I like to have for breakfast. Dulce, which is like seaweed flakes. Lentils, more tahini, dried soy pieces. You can rehydrate these and they turn into like a mock meat almost. Balsamic vinegar, soy sauce, sesame oil, vegetable broth, spelt flour, chickpea flour, cornstarch, which is key for making crispy, delicious tofu. Highly recommend always having cornstarch on hand. Nutritional yeast, apple cider vinegar, a high quality olive oil. I also have an organic rapeseed oil. This is good when you're cooking foods at high temperatures because olive oil has a lower smoke point. I also have coconut sugar, chocolate chips, cacao powder, and a few other items for baking. Then if we go over here, I have two sweet potatoes, an onion, and a bunch of garlic. These are the items that I pretty much always have on hand, like especially the garlic and the onion and sweet potatoes because they last a long time. They're very versatile, nutrient dense. They give my dishes a lot of flavor and taste. Oh yeah, and how can I forget my spices? It's a little bit messy. I really like it because you can see everything laid out so I don't have to kind of like dig around. I think the most important spices that I have or like the ones that I use the most are garlic powder and onion powder, which is somewhere in here. Yeah, that's literally it. You obviously don't have to get all of these things to set up your kitchen for success. These are things that you can buy over time to kind of like build up your arsenal. If there are pantry staples that you have in your kitchen that I don't have that you highly recommend, let me know in the comments below because I'm really interested. I'm always looking to level up my kitchen and my cooking experience. So let me know. It's almost dinner time. And you know what we ordered? Swing kitchen. Vegan burgers and fries. 13 minutes until delivered. <laughs> Okay. The food is here. The goods have been secured. We got some fries. We got some more fries. We got one burger, mit Käse, vegan Käse, that is, and another without, which is mine. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. I'm gonna eat this. Enjoy. I think that wraps it up.